2020 has been one hell of a year. In today's video, we're going to go over the top 10 lessons that you need to get ready for the year to come. What's going on guys? It's Yaziah, your success strategist and black men's career is back. Please make sure to smash that like button for me. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And today we're going to talk about the top 10 lessons of 2020. Now there's so many things that have happened in this year. And I think we can all agree that there was something very different in 2020 that we've never seen in any other year in most of our lifetimes. Everything that happened with COVID-19, everything going on in the world today, near and far. The first thing that I want you to think about is this. This year is the year where preparation is the new sexy. Preparation is more appealing now than at any other time in recent history. And why is that? Because with everything that has happened as a part of the pandemic, preparation has become that much more necessary for survival. You know, a lot of people took America for granted. They always thought businesses would always be open. You could always go to the grocery store. Nothing would be shut down. But this was the one year that Americans were put on notice that, hey, some of the liberties that you think that you have, it may not always be there from one day to the next. And that's the reason why preparation is the new sexy. You're seeing all kind of communities blow up online of people uh, that have all types of food prepping work done, all types of weaponry prepping work done, anything that you can think of, doomsday preppers, you name it, preparation is the new sexy. But when we're talking about getting prepared, what does that really mean? We're talking about your finances, right? Because money is a defense. So when you're thinking about how you need to replace your current income, you need to make sure that you have multiple streams. Because if you didn't learn anything else from everything that happened in this year, one thing that you should take away is that one stream of income isn't sufficient. Because if one thing happens to that one stream of income, you're done. And a lot of people witnessed that in 2020. Now is the time where more than ever, being well prepared is really important. Number two, you gotta look for the big opportunities. So many people get so afraid and terrified when disaster comes that they never see the opportunities that are right in front of them. You know, John D. Rockefeller said something that was very important about how the economy really works. He said, the best time to invest is when everybody is scared, is when there's blood in the streets. What that means is you're gonna find the best deals, the best networking opportunities available at your disposal when everybody else is running away. So if everybody else is selling their stocks, that's the time to buy. If everybody, if the masses are doing one thing, guys, that's when you need to be doing another, right? Because when you think about the masses of people and how they've been programmed to think, they have not been taught the principles of success. When you look at high performance people, oftentimes they do the exact opposite of everybody else. And there's no difference when it comes to big opportunities. So right now for me, I'm focusing on the opportunity of what we have in front of us online. I'm focusing on the opportunity of what's going on right now in the stock market. A lot of people are talking about things like cryptocurrency, and other things, but most people are so terrified and worried about, oh man, COVID-19 is coming to get me. You know, I just gotta hide in a corner and just pray that I make it through. If you're still living and you're still breathing, that means you need to be pressing on. And you can't spend all of your days living in fear. You have to see that while most people are looking at this as a time of crisis, the big dogs are looking at this as the number one time where they will raise their results. Another reason why most people can never take hold of big opportunities is because they were never prepared for it in the first place. You have to understand that preparation meets opportunity. So imagine right now, we're living in an economy where this year we saw some of the greatest stock 
returns in modern history. But could you take advantage of it? You couldn't if you didn't know about the stock market and how it operates. You couldn't take advantage of it if you were loaded in debt. You couldn't take advantage of it if you were living paycheck to paycheck. And so what I'm trying to tell you, Kings, is you got to stay ready <laughs> so that way you don't have to get ready. When some of the biggest opportunities have come to the market in 2020, a lot of us couldn't take advantage of it because all of our money was in other places. Look at the cost of airlines. Stocks was at rock bottom prices. Imagine if you could have been in on the opportunity. But by us not being prepared for in advance, a lot of times the opportunity will pass us by. And here's one thing about big economic opportunities. Big economic opportunities, like what you're seeing happening this year in 2020, that only comes once ever so often. The type of opportunities that have been available this year are typically only around once, maybe every 10 years, if that. So if you miss the window, you're not going to be able to have the same returns as everybody else. You got to make sure that whenever the big opportunities come, you're already ready for it. You're waiting for it. You got money set aside, just ready for the next big thing, rather than trying to race and rip and run, hoping that you can grab on to the next big thing. Number three, you got to know your social energy. These lockdowns impacted a lot of people because their personality was so accustomed to being out and about being the life of the party that once they had to stay in the house 24 seven, they had no idea what to do with their day. You got to understand that people are wired to be social creatures. But if you've never taken the time to think about what is my ideal environment? How do I get energy being around the right people? Then whenever your environment gets shifted around unexpectedly, you're not going to know how to handle it. That's the reason why you have to focus on knowing your social energy because you have to make sure that you're putting yourself in the right environment at all times. Number four, change is inevitable. You have to always look around the corner to see what the next big change is and how to adapt to it. Most people hate change. They don't want to give up the thing that they've always been doing. And because of which, anytime a shift happens in the marketplace, they're thrown off and they're not ready for it. We went through some big changes this year with COVID-19 and it threw a lot of people off guard. Some people lost their jobs. Some people lost family members and friends, unfortunately. But we always must understand that there's going to be more unexpected events to come, whether it be the loss of a loved one, whether it be a natural disaster, whether it be some form of crisis. We have to always be comfortable being uncomfortable. The minute you find yourself in one pattern and one routine for too long, you can rest assured that something can come to knock you off the horse. And if you're not prepared to take the next step, there's going to be no way that you can get back on your feet. Number five is to have empathy. You know, we took a big loss this year when we lost our brother, Chadwick Bozeman, And that really put the black community on notice because there was so much uproar about all of the roasting that people were doing to the brother Chadwick Bozeman on social media. Everybody was talking about how he was looking so thin. Everybody was talking about how his appearance was just so wiry. Nobody knew what the man was going through. So in their mind, it was just all for fun. It was all a joke. It was all for sport. We never know what somebody else is going through, people. And that's the reason why we have to have empathy for other people's situation. Because you never know. There may come a day where that might be you. Number six, you have to take control. Look at all of the people that lost jobs this year that thought that they had job security before the pandemic hit. There's no such thing as job security when you're working for somebody else. If you haven't learned anything else in 2020, you need to know how to create your own income. Now, number seven is the 90-10 rule. And this one's going to be important, brother, so listen good. I know a lot of you have probably heard about the 80-20 rule. 80% of all of the results 
comes from 20% of the activities, but I want to put it to you like this. 80% of all women are seeking out the top 20% of men. They're looking for the high performance guys. They're looking for the high value men. And guess what? In everything that has happened in this pandemic, where people have lost jobs and it's been hard to get by and survive, that 80-20 rule is changing to 90-10. During times of crisis, people flock to the ones who have control. During times of panic, people run to other people that have their ish together. <laughs> they're not looking for the people no more that don't know what they're doing that are lost. So if you want to continue to be a prominent man and stand out as a king in 2021, you need to make it your mission to be within that top 10% of men. When you put yourself in the top 10% of men in the world in terms of your value, in terms of what it is that you can offer to other people, that means that your services will always be in high demand. That will make sure that no matter what is going on, your financial security comes from your skill sets rather than a job. You must focus on the 90-10 rule because a lot of women are looking to men who can protect and provide. Number eight is that you have to seize the moment. You know, when 2019 was here, everything seemed so rosy in hindsight, didn't it? A lot of y'all wish you could go back to last year just because of all of the benefits that you were afforded before everything happened in 2020. But you know what's so crazy? So many of us were in 2019 taking that year for granted, taking all of the benefits that we had for granted taking the freedoms and the liberties that we had of being able to go outside with no issues for granted, no mask, no problems, no restrictions. Oftentimes, we don't know how good we really got it. And that's the reason why I'm trying to get you to see right now that there's a golden opportunity that's in front of you. Right now, there are certain opportunities that you need to be focusing on that may not be available to you in two weeks time. It may not be available next year. It may not be available in the next two years. So whatever it is that you need to be doing right now, you need to strike while the iron is hot because tomorrow is promised to no one. And this year has taught us that we have to always do the best that we can do in the short amount of time that we have because we never know when things may change. Now, number nine, I've been talking about this one for a while now, but just in case you weren't a believer before 2020, by now, it should be obvious. E-commerce is the future. Think about how many brick and mortar businesses were shut down this year and how all of those businesses were outdone by other companies that had moved online to deliver their products and services. Trust me, y'all, I saw this coming years ago. For some people, this hasn't really been that big of a surprise. And when I say it hasn't really been that big of a surprise, the economy has been shifting online before the pandemic. So if the economy was shifting online before the pandemic, you can best believe that the economy is gonna shift way online after the pandemic. Because think about how many people right now might have been used to doing things in day-to-day -day brick and mortar stores, but now because those businesses have gone under, now they found other online vendors to do business. People are creatures of habit. And once they set new habits in place, they're not going to go back to their old ways. A lot of those old businesses are not coming back. And for a lot of people that have lost their jobs, other people online were making more money than ever. I got a question. Do you think that Amazon took a hit? in 2020? Or do you think they were making more money because people was looking to their products and their store more than ever? You have to put yourself on the right side of change to where whenever something happens, that means there's a gain for you. In the economy, there's gonna be some people that take gains and there's gonna be some people that take losses. You have to have enough discernment and foresight to understand, okay, well, is e-commerce going to be on the rise in the year to come? Or is it going to be on the decline? 
in years to come. A lot of jobs are going to be on the decline in years to come. A lot of industries are going to be on the decline in years to come. But the same way that some areas are on the decline, you have other areas that are growing faster than ever. What you now have to do is you need to research those fast growing industries and figure out how you can be a part of the action. If you know that you're in a sinking ship, don't wait until you're already drowning to try to figure out how to find another boat. Hop on board other boats while you can still see above the water and figure out what e-commerce opportunities are available for you. Lastly, this brings me to my 10th point. Now is the time for the rise of black businesses. Now is the time for the rise of black businesses. I got to be honest, y'all. When that whole situation happened with George Floyd, y'all know how it is. A lot of us looked at it and it was nothing new. Shockingly, it took on a different life in the media. People were talking about it more than ever. Other communities were sharing it on their social media outlets. And then a business trend developed where supporting black businesses became the end thing to do. Supporting black people became the trendy thing to do. We've seen a lot of talk about Black Lives Matter. And so what I want you to realize is, regardless of where you stand in terms of the entire racial discussion, I want you to realize that there is a growing consciousness of black empowerment. There's more and more investment going into black business. So if you can position yourself to be a black business owner in 2021, you may have access to a new team of consumers that you may have never had access to before. Why? Because a lot of businesses have gone under. Racial tensions are still prevalent in society today. And there's more and more consciousness of we got to support black people. We've got to start supporting our own because if we don't do it for ourselves, nobody else will. So these are the top 10 things that you need to think about going into 2021. And I want to let you know that if you're serious about creating generational wealth in 2021, you need to click the link below because starting next Thursday, January 7, 2021, I'm going to be offering a free masterclass showing you how to replace your current income so that you can quit your nine to five job. Again, we talked about taking control in today's lesson. If you still want to rely on the same system that's been failing you over and over again, then that's on you. But if you want to start taking life into your own hands and making sure that you're well prepared for things to come, now is the time for you to get on this masterclass because I'm going to be walking you through how to create a six figure net worth. So that way you can create passive streams of income and have real assets to pass down to your kids. So with no further ado, go and click that link below. Make sure you signed up for the free masterclass and I'll see you guys on the next lesson.